So you're ready for net plus. Let's talk about really quickly what's even on this thing. So you're gonna have 90 minutes for about 85 to 90 questions. There are lots of multiple choice and definitely some sims. This is a step up from A+, but the cool thing is, is there's only one exam, not two here, and the exam is more in depth specifically for networking topics. There are five objectives here. The first is the architecture itself, so what a network is even made of. Network operations and network security make up the next two objectives, and that's about 40% of your test. I'd say the security part is actually growing a little bit because that's such a, a topic of importance, and a lot of people, even if you're not going into a security-specific field, even if you're networking, you have to be concerned with securing your network. So after the security section, you have troubleshooting, of course, making sure that it's online at all times. Uptime is very important when it comes to networking, so about 25% of this exam is gonna be made up of troubleshooting questions. And the last objective we have are industry standards and practices, which are what are the best practices and how do you keep up with the ever-changing environments of your network? Now, if you have questions about what are going to be behind each of these objectives, I would recommend going and Googling these objectives, literally CompTIA, Network Plus, Objectives. One of the first things you'll see uh, pop up are, is a PDF from CompTIA. Uh, this one is actually 22 pages, but don't let that scare you. Uh, they really go into you know, 1, 1 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.3, and they're gonna tell you exactly what they expect for you to know. They have an acronym sheet in there, which is really cool, and uh, it gives you a pretty good idea of what you should be studying. One of the last things I always do before I go take an exam is take a look at this objective sheet, and I make sure that nothing looks foreign to me. If it does, I know that I need to go back and study exactly what that is, just so I can be prepared with what it is, what it's related to, so I can, if I get a question with it, I know at least what they're talking about, right? And how to implement it, maintain it, or configure it if necessary. So the objectives are by no means your only study tool, and you should have more than one, but it's a good, uh, I'd say longer than a cheat sheet, but not nearly as in-depth as a book. So you can just hit these bullet points and make sure that you're familiar with them, you're comfortable with them, and that you are well prepared to go into the exam room. Talk to you soon.